Welcome to the Horizon Newscast for the week of February 25th, 2013. I'm Cassidy Teague. And I'm Jonathan Cates. Are you planning on signing up for summer or fall classes soon but don't know where to start? Laura Hubrick spoke with faculty and students around campus during Spring into Advising Awareness Week to encourage students to make appointments with their advisors so they can register for upcoming classes. Uh, the campus has a new advising structure. There are advisors out in all of the schools. And one of our efforts is to help our students get registered for the coming semesters uh, by encouraging them to visit with their advisor beforehand so that they know exactly where they are in their program and, and what they need to do to register. Many students don't know where they stand in their program until they speak with advisors on what classes they have left to take. Uh, well, she told me this is what I need to do to get done in four years and it's a lot easier uh, figuring out what classes I could not take and what classes I really need to take to get done. So. Not only are faculty encouraging students to see their advisors, but IU Southeast students are as well. I would definitely recommend to go see your advisor because um, in the past I haven't seen my advisor and I've taken classes that I didn't need and I feel like um, it's a lot easier if you just go see them to get in the classes that you need. Advisors are beneficial because they help students line up the classes they need in their program, but they can also show students different careers in their field to make them more marketable after graduation. I think that students should take advantage of their advisors, and as Jim said, we really do more than just telling you what classes to take. Um, we can give you good advice on different careers or the classes that you need or classes that can help you along the way. For questions on what classes to take, your standing in the program, or what careers might interest you after graduation, schedule time to see your advisor by contacting the school you are majoring in. From University Center, this is Laura Hebrick, The Horizon. Students can begin signing up for appointments to see their advisors on February 25th to register for upcoming semesters. The Feminist Alliance recently started back up on campus. Kimberly Bottom spoke to some of the members to find out why it's so important to renew this group's presence. IUS student Lindsay Cooper is behind the relaunch of the Feminist Alliance Group. Cooper renewed the effort following a Senate debate in New Albany last year in which she posed the question to then-candidate Richard Murdoch concerning abortion following rape. Yeah, that we are just normal women who are more concerned about how um, the government is involved in our lives and how um, the media represents us and things like that. Women's issues were one of the main focuses of this past election. Laura Duncan explained why she thinks this group is so important to help combat some of the stereotypes brought about by the political spectrum and the general public. I think this group is needed because 50% of the population is women and yet there seems to be so many stereotypes and so many people that don't understand the day-to-day -day things we go through or even basic things like how our bodies function. Um, and there's a lot of underlying um, sexism that people don't know that they're even, they're not aware of it in just day-to-day -day speech and day-to-day -day idioms and things like that, that if you really sit back and think about it, it is actually really prevalent in American life. The group plans on having many events throughout the semester promoting women's causes, with special events taking place during Women's History Month in March. Duncan says that the group also wants to host a discussion panel that will stress the importance of women becoming more familiar with their own bodies. One of the things we're going to try to do is have an event on the basic anatomy of the female body and how it works, how the reproductive system works, because a lot of um, women and girls don't understand their own body, but they're told by other people, you know, how it works and how it's not supposed to work when it's actually completely false. I'm Kimberly Bottoms with The Horizon. To find out more information about the IUS Feminist Alliance, type IUS Feminist Alliance into Facebook or attend the next meeting on February 28th in University Center North, Room 128. Among our many talented students at here at IU Southeast, Kojin Tashiro, a singer-songwriter, has already kick-started his career in music by performing abroad. Kristen Kemp talked with him about his talents and aspirations. Kojin Tashiro is a sophomore here at IUS. He is pursuing a degree in sound engineering 
but that is not the only interest he had. When I was 12 or 13, that's when I started wanting to do what I wanted to do, uh, producing, making songs, and uh, in high school I uh, started to make my own songs. He has also performed live quite a few times. I have performed uh, not my own songs, but I have performed with you know musical at musical events at the, the Clifton Center, uh, and I have uh, played at um, some halls in Japan. Uh, I, I played with some people in Italy, just a couple places, mainly in mainly in Japan and America though. So you traveled. I also asked what made him choose IU Southeast. To do what I wanted to do, I didn't think I was required to go anywhere far from where I live because I live really close to here and I felt that I have a lot of opportunities already building up right here to the point where if I go to another school like, you know, go to Bloomington even that far, it's all gone. You know, I have a lot of business partners here in, Amer uh, in Indiana as well as Louisville so um, it was and I felt like it was the most efficient idea to go to IUS since, you know, they have a great program here as, as well as um, great musicians that um, some people might, might not know of, you know, because it's not from a major college, but yeah. I believe that it's a great education and uh, it's very efficient for me as a musician to uh, stay and go here where I can live close to home. Kojin says that his dad has influenced him in many ways, including music, to play the violin as well as piano, and that he has been influenced by other artists as well. The album It will be available in March. You can purchase it on iTunes by searching his name or look for Kojin on campus to get a hard copy. Kristen Kemp, The Horizon. Kojin is one of many talented musicians on campus. If you are a musician or know of any bands on campus, email us their information at horizon at ius.edu and we will feature their music in our weekly newscast. Did you know that IUS men's basketball coach Wiley Brown was the co-inventor of the high five? Coach Brown and University of Louisville teammate Derek Smith started giving high fives during their 1978-79 basketball season, and the rest is history. When we first did it, it was a, it was a wild moment. It really was because no one had been doing it. You know, we always give it, got, you know, red close to our body down. You know, no one did that. And um, when we first did it, it was like both of us, like, we looked at each other and got, I mean, did that just happen? That, that, that's a great moment. For the full-length story, pick up a copy of the newspaper. And for the full interview, visit iushorizon.com. Here's a look at the upcoming events on campus this week. The KIAC basketball tournament is being hosted by IU Southeast this year. Games start Monday, February 25th at 2 p.m. and go until 8 p.m. Tuesday, February 26th, the championship games will take place at 6 and 8 p.m. Admission is free for students with their U-card. On Wednesday, students have the opportunity to get real-world experience with interviews and resume critiques in University Center South, Room 106. It is free for all students, but reservations are required. For other events happening this week on campus, check the IUS campus calendar online. Also, a reminder to all students, the state deadline for signing up for FAFSA is March 10th. Thank you for watching the Horizon Newscast. For more on all things IU Southeast, visit our website at iushorizon.com or pick up a copy of the newspaper. Again, I'm Jonathan Cates. And I'm Cassidy Teague. Stay, Stay classy, classy Grenadiers. Grenadiers.